All right. I'd like to call to order the Wildlife Management Advisory Commission. I don't know why I have this thing on. Um, Monday, January 25th, it is approximately 6 o'clock, and all commissioners are here and present. Um, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, citizens' comment period. We don't have anyone signed up for that. So we'll move on to business items. Education training session, chronic waste and disease. Ben Olson, I assume he's not here. Correct? Oh, no. Who's doing this? Sorry. Are you doing it? No, we don't have one for today. Did I look at the wrong one? I looked at the wrong one? No. So there was one, but then we posted an agenda and moved it. Okay. Roger. Dark Skies is supposed to be next week. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. And you were looking at the wrong agenda. I am looking at the wrong agenda. Um, got it. So minutes for September 21st, 2020. I need an approval for that. So moved. Give your mic on, sir. Mic. So moved. Nope, not on yet. Wait for it. I We're going to get you a substitute, mic. Oh, there you go. Now you're on. I move to so approve moved. the agenda. <laughs> Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, that motion passes unanimously. We'll move on to 5B, wildlife and wildlife incidents within Garden Ridge. I um, assume you have all looked at y'all's packets before you got here. Any comments, questions, discussion about this? Um, how were the hogs dispatched? You really want, you want to know how they were dispatched? I mean, they're removed and taken to a... I think they're just, shot. They're just shot. And then, and then I think, I don't, I don't know where the meat goes necessarily, but Nancy. They donate the meat or donate the hog to a processor who will process it for a charitable organization. Good, thank you. I was hoping that was the answer. <laughs> yes. Okay. Any other questions? <clears throat> I know that, I think by the time the last time we were here in this time, I know that the high school also had um, some trapping going on um, and they were able to trap quite a few hogs. I don't know. The exact number, but it was in the 20s, I think, 20s, 30s. Wow. Um, and I think that took place sometime there before Christmas. So mm. um, there was a party of pretty good, I think they're called sounders, but um, there was a good sound. I guess there was a good group of hogs that they, that they had gotten together and were able to trap. So I think they did a couple of rounds of that. And I'm not sure if they still have the trap up or not. But, um, yeah, that's helped a little bit. And it, you know, their help with including our our help helps. But I think, I guess my question is, did that new gate get old when we ordered that new door? Did he was he able to use that, and that's why we were able to catch three? I really do not know if he if it's been installed. I, I really could not tell you. Okay, I'm sorry. Enough. No, 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 no worries. I think it's just it'd be good for us to know that our investment. We had to return on it. I will find out and uh, let you know at the next meeting. Okay. Any other discussion, comments, questions about that? B1. Nope. All right. B2, Oak Wilt within Garden Ridge. No, we don't have an update. I know you like that. Um, our most recent outbreak has been contained. Uh, trenching and containment um, process has been completed. Uh, property owners did treat trees. Um, the city has dispersed our 50% cost share of the 
trenching efforts, as well as we received $3,000 from the state uh, as a, in a cost share program. And that will be distributed end of this week, beginning of next week to Ooh. all that uh, had trenching performed on their properties to include the city. And those trees aren't, rem like, I know that that's not the solution is to remove them, but those trees that were infected were not removed. They're still alive, still kicking. Um, believe there may be some trees on one of the adjoining properties that are not going to survive. Uh, but uh, people have taken efforts to treat all of their trees, their oak trees, on the properties that were affected. And uh, at this point, I'm not aware of any trees on those properties that have had to have been removed. Okay. All right. Um, any other discussion on B2? Okay. B3, Wildlife Management Advisory Commission updates and activities. I know that we have one that needs to be discussed, and that's the Mayor's Monarch Pledge Program. We're looking for a volunteer within this commission to take that over. Um, that was started by Cindy Segovia last year, maybe two years ago, now that I say that. Um, and she was able to get that monarch, well, we became a monarch city. I think that's the right way to say that. Um, and we're looking for someone to kind of take over that as an update. Make sure that we're, A, following what we need to follow for, um, I think there's some requirements that we have to follow. If there's anything else we need to do, just somebody take that over. I'd be happy to do it. Do I just need to talk to Cindy Segovia and figure out where we are? Or? You can talk to me. I'll get you all caught up, all right. caught up on everything. I'll talk Thank to you. you. Perfect. All right. Um, I have one thing to add to this. Yes, ma'am. Um, since I'm supposed to be the liaison with the uh, wildlife or wildlife biologist, <laughs> I talked with uh, Ben Olson. He says they've been uh, real busy this last couple of months. Um, they've got uh, a number of projects going on with chronic wasting disease, and he said that the, um, t the Parks and Wildlife are, that have been putting on, or they have webinars available for wildlife uh, tax valuations for property owners, and he gave us um, a website that, uh, where you can go and go on and look at those webinars to get information about the uh, wildlife tax uh, valuation. Okay. Um, and maybe I can give that to you, Kat, afterwards. So we can post it. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other activities? I know that we had we had purchased the. This was one of the commissioner activities. Was the was the gate for the hogs? Is there anything else that we had outstanding? I don't believe there was, but. Okay. Does anybody want to add anything or discuss anything about an activity or project that they're interested in? All right, um, future education training sessions in Grapevine. I assume we're late on that. No? Okay. No. Uh, we're on time. Commissioner Dr. Minor Williams has already submitted an article for the February Grapevine for the Dark Skies. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big proponent of the Dark Skies, and I'm interested to see what that looks like. So that's a, I would love to add that to our project after you do the presentation. Um, I'd love to see how we can add that to our commissioner's projects. Great. I'd love to do that, get involved in that. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So I guess the last city council meeting that we had applicable to would have been the October city council meeting, if you can remember back that far, Lisa. Um, <laughs> Do you remember anything from October 
Uh, so what I'm looking through the minutes, I don't believe there was any recommendation. And I think the last time we had was commissioner update, commissioner recommendations, and I think that was about it. Um, and then I know that I had, I had sent Nancy some properties that we could potentially trap on. I don't know that ever went anywhere. That may not be the, we can talk about that later. But um, I think that was it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So C, recommendations. Feral hog management. Discuss status and make a recommendation related to, if needed, for hog, feral hog management. I think we've done a good job. We got three. But um, I would love to hear just if, uh, if that gate, A, if, it's, if it did catch anything, and B, if it's working. I will find out and report advertised. back at the next meeting. Lisa, uh, have we gotten any info from Joe McKenna, like about the if there's hogs on the school property, like he was talking about, or how that, like if they have someone that we can work with? I don't know that they, I think they need somebody within the, the district. In a district. Yeah, they got somebody. Okay. They've got a, they've got a, they have a trap right there off of the, basically right across from the football field, like on the, it'd be the east, east side of the football field. Okay. I guess it'd be east. Yeah. Okay. We'll be blessed. Maybe southwest. Yeah, but they did they did trap hogs right there before Christmas. I mean they got twenties and thirties, but I don't remember I don't know the name of the trapper or, or how many they got exactly, but it was I saw them in the trap, that's the only reason I, I knew that. And I kinda counted some heads. But anyway. Um all right. Anything else on fair hog management? Have we got we haven't gotten any reports or complaints about fair hogs, right? I know it's been a little bit dry here, but it seems I haven't seen anything. Um, I've gotten off next door, so I don't I don't look at that anymore. And no one's come by my house, knocked on my door, so I don't haven't heard of anything. Okay. Uh, deer management program. I would say no news is bad news at this point, unfortunately. <laughs> and I guess my follow-up question is: I know that I sent you a bunch of properties. You and, did. And people to reach out to. I assume that's come back with a big fat zero with nothing. The majority, I would say, I don't remember if it was 12 or 15 properties you sent me now. Sounds about right. Somewhere in that vicinity. Um, all except three we have approached in the past and they had all been negative responses to us. Okay. One of those three that was remaining, the one at the corner of Bat Cave and Twisted Oaks is just right out there in front of everybody and that I, we do not feel would be a good location. And the other two remaining properties, I have placed phone calls, but I have not had any return calls. Okay. So. That's where we are, nothing okay. so far. So with that said, if we don't get a responses, there's likely not anything happening this year. And if there's no's from those three, um, I don't, other than there's a, there's some city property that has a potential, but it still has access issues as we yes, discussed. Yes, serious issues um, for access. There's really nothing as far as deer trapping that we could do. I'm not saying that there's not an alternative solution that's out there that's plausible, but from a trapping perspective, um, the property is our property. Being able to trap on a particular piece of property is limiting to us today. So there's that um, about deer management. So if there's somebody you know of or some piece of property you can think of, send it to Nancy. But that's, I've done what I can do at this point to, to help and, you know, every place that I thought would be feasible, I think has been either approached with a no or not return phone call, so. The one person I talked with uh, to about it um, said that they would be amenable to it, but they didn't want to put up with the, the comments from the neighbors, so she said she wouldn't do it. Yeah, and I think that's the general gist that we've gotten, unfortunately. Um, 
Yeah. So um, I think it's something that we should potentially look at as far as what other alternatives do we have, right? If it's not trapping, right? If it's not either dropping a net on deer, which we've done before, or trapping them in a pen, what other population control methods are there? Not very many, but um, maybe something we need to at least look into and say, we've looked at all the options and this is what's what's left, right? Here's, here's what we have left on our options. Um, I don't know what those are. But. Are there a lot of communities like ours that are still dealing with a, a large white-tailed deer population that maybe we could reach out to them and see any alternatives? That, I remember that, Chavanaugh Park having the problem before. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got, you got Hollywood oh, Park no. that's had the, probably the biggest problem with them. Um, they've, they've gotten down to a point now to where they don't really have that big of a problem. Um, and they're and still how trapping. did they get there? Well, is the they, trap, they, trap <laughs> for, they trapped. They trapped for 10 plus years and have gotten it down to a manageable number. Um, Lakeways has gone through the same, I think, pains that we have uh, around uh, some citizen intervention in some things, and uh, they've gone through the same things. And I, I don't know where they stand today on their deer management program. They did have. Um, someone within the city who was kind of dedicated to that problem, but I have not followed up in a couple of years on where they're at. I know Lakeways had, they're probably the second other community. Now there's communities that have, that aren't necessarily landlocked and have the ability to trap, right? There's still plenty of cities out there today that are doing that. Um, New I just, Bonfils has a management program that they kicked off, I think two or three years ago. Yeah. Be interesting to find out what they're doing. I, I know they've they've I know they've heavily fined um, some feeding. They've even asked people to not feed birds. I believe like the deer feeder, the bird feeder has to be a certain foot above the ground. Um, and I'm not sure about trapping. I don't know what they've done there. I, I, yeah, it would be good to understand what they've done. But they've got a yeah. They had. I think that's the that's probably they probably had a lot more people willing or able to provide enough property to be able to do that. Yeah, I agree. But we can find out. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be worth a call. If somebody wants to contact those, I'll be happy to contact Lakeway just because I've contacted them before. But if somebody else wants to reach out to New Braunfels or Hollywood right. Park. I'll reach out to New Braunfels. Okay. Anybody else? I can try one of the other ones. I don't have any contact or anything, but can just start calling around and bugging people. Okay, so. fair enough. I think we should see what, what options they've run into. And then, um, you know, I don't know if it's worth a call to the trapper to find out if there's any alternatives from a, that he can think of. Nancy, I don't know. I'll try and reach out to Ryan. And maybe just ask him. I know it's a, probably a, a question that Either A doesn't have an answer to, or B, there's not any other options. But yeah, um, at least we can get that. Okay. Kind of been writing and say, hey, there's nothing I I could provide you with my services beyond what I've done. Okay. Okay. Any other questions about deer management? Any other discussion? No. Okay. So I don't think we've made any changes to the wildlife management plan. Mm -hmm. C3. Any discussion? Nope. Okay. Uh, C4 Parks and Parks Committee monthly meetings. I have not been to a monthly parks meeting, but I don't know if they've been meeting or not. So that's a good. I know Shannon, you had kind of liaised with them for a minute, but I don't know if that's continuing. Yeah, I got the minutes from Rod, and I don't know that I reviewed it to see if there was anything. He just sent it like FYI, so I don't think there was anything for us to act on yet. Okay. I know that we had one point think, brought up yeah. the. I don't think so yet. Renaming of the meadow, the right, the, and I don't think they've. I don't think they were amenable to that. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Oh, and it's right here. C five butterfly meadow. Um. So yeah, I don't. We don't have a recommendation at this point. So okay, moving on. C six ordinance two ten. So we have to appoint a vice chair for. One year term of October 2020. 
We don't have to do that? I thought we did that, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. No. Maybe I am. Hold on. Gosh darn. I am looking at the wrong one. I don't like looking at the screen. I like paper. No, I'm sorry if I... Okay. Sorry about that. It was very much the same. I was, I was in line until just that one. Yeah, it was very similar. All right. Um, future agenda items. Anybody want to put anything on future agenda? What did I do? Oh, gosh, I did make it. I didn't mess. I'm, let me just back up. Let me just take a breath. Okay, here we go. DII or D2, make a recommendation to City Council for appointment of commissioner. Discuss making recommendations related to application of ordinance provision to commission members if needed. So, place two vacancy. So, whose place two vacancy is expiring? Who's place two? Mr. That Kniper? Was that was Mrs. Segovia. She resigned, remember? Yeah, but, okay, I'm confused now. I'm sorry. We have a vacancy? Yes. Are you sure? It doesn't feel like it's been that. It feels like we've got, we feel like we filled that. Golly. It is. I'm picking, I'm picking things up and not, it's just not working today. It's been a long day, I don't know. Okay, so I assume we have somebody here to interview for place two. Vacancy. Great. I'm up to speed now. Great. All right, so I'd love, we'd love to interview. So if you'd like to come up, we'd love to interview and we're ready, as much as I can be. Can you all hear me through this mask? Good. My name is Dean Lemmers. Uh, my wife, Barbara, and I have been uh, residents of Garden Ridge for over 22 years. Uh, my wife was active on the Water Commission a number of years ago. Uh, our particular property is located uh, west of the creek that uh, parallels Back Cave Road. And uh, we decided to keep the property as natural as we could. So we actually have a, a forest with no St. Augustine, uh, no sprinkler system or anything like that. And we have really enjoyed the, the deer, the fox, the hawks, and also the uh, owls. However, we had an unwelcome guest by the name of Mr. Raccoon who occupied our attic for a period of time. But I'm happy to say he's been uh, removed and relocated so everybody's now happy. If I took off this masks, mask, many of you probably would recognize me because this is the third time that I've applied for this particular position. So uh, for third times, maybe it's going to be a luck time or three times drought. But anyway, after I saw in the uh, grapevine there were three uh, monthly notices for vacancy, I decided to step up. So basically, here I am. Uh, my uh, resume is kind of short. And my application was kind of incomplete because it asked other boards and commissions I had served on. Well, looking back when I uh, was a member of the uh, previous parish that uh, I am now, I served as a member of the parish advisory council and also was a president of that. And that was for about a three year period. Uh, subsequent to that, a few years later, I was the, a member and also the president of the homeowners association of our investment property, uh, HOA that we had in New Mexico. So I feel myself kind of comfortable in terms of uh, working on the board and uh, feeling things and, and uh, getting the work done if we can. Um, I was happy to see when I review the uh, management plan that you're interested in, in, in enhancing the environment for wildlife. And uh, I, of course, put that in my objective uh, before I read the uh, wildlife management plan, so that, that worked okay. But one of the things we have to be, I think, cautious of in the back of our minds sometimes that wildlife and mother nature may get out of control like she is right now with this whole COVID issue. I heard on the news before I came here that there's another strain that people have identified that's even more infectious and probably not subject to the, uh, the vaccine. So that's uh, Dean in a nutshell. And uh, I think I would bring to the board a, a good deal of initiative, judgment and experience and I think I could help everybody move forward and go from there. And I appreciate uh, your interest in hearing my case, so to speak, and I'll be glad to answer any questions. 
Thank you, Ms. Lemmers. Um, any questions? We're taking all candidates. Yes, y'all don't have any questions. Not one. Okay. Um, I don't have many questions. I know that we're in need of a, a vacancy filled. Um, so I, um, I'm a non-voting member, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kick it off. Would anybody like to recommend Mr. Lemmers for our place two vacancy? I would like to make that recommendation. A motion, sorry. I meant a to motion. say motion. A mo I, I move to um, recommend. Okay. So I've got a motion to recommend Mr. Lemmers for a for place two vacancy. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That passes unanimously. Um, and I guess we'll make the recommendation to City Council. So. Thank you. Easy enough. Congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here and thanks for volunteering. Okay. Thank you. Looking forward to it. All right. So am I. <laughs> All right. Now that's handled. Did I mess that up and handle that up? We'll move on to future agenda items. Uh, anybody got anything they want to add for the future? I just had a question about the animal services monthly activities as far as like the dogs that they pick up. Like, is that a wildlife responsibility or is it just FYI? No, no that's just a, that's just animal control, animal okay. services. No. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing that we need to do as far as advocacy or education. Okay. Don't feed wild dogs. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's. Yeah, y'all have to stop putting those pictures of those dogs in there. <laughs> My wife and I argue about it for weeks afterwards. That's the whole <laughs> point. Good marketing. All right, so, okay, so in light of how long this took, 28 minutes. Now, granted, I messed around a little bit and screwed up for a couple of those. There's a, they've requested a reschedule, but my, my question is, is there a need for a February meeting? Since we don't have a lot of op options here from a wildlife management perspective, there's not a lot to talk about deer. Do we need to move this to a March meeting? Our education is going to be done by you're doing it. And so would you have any issue moving it to the next meeting? Do we have an Earth Day or anything? I've got, I've got Valentine's Day to, to schedule for that day before, so I've got to be prepped and ready. I bet, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that the, the city's not doing anything for Earth Day or anything like that. Are they doing? Okay. I'll talk to Parks Committee and see if. Okay. Okay. So is it? Do we need to have a meeting in February? Is my question. If y'all want to, if y'all say yes, we can absolutely have the meeting. I just want to make sure we were using everybody's time wisely, including the folks who have to stay here at after hours. Does it require a motion or can we just say? I think we can just reschedule to March. Okay. I don't think we need a motion, do we, Nancy? I don't think it's we do. A consensus. A consensus. So is everyone okay with moving it to March? Just I'm having yes. a March meeting? I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Will okay. there be a city council meeting between now and then for us to make our recommendation for the new commissioner? Yes. Okay. So I will have to be there. Okay. So most likely we won't be meeting in February. Just let him know. Yeah, that recommendation will go to council next week. So Chair Krasinski either needs to be present or needs be. to make sure there's a representative <laughs> from the commission to present that, oh. please. You sure you don't want to do it? I'm just kidding. Just yes, I will be there. I will, no, no, no. The same I know, you're always there, but I will be there. <laughs> yeah. I will be there. Not a problem. Um, okay. So the next meeting will not be February 15th. We'll make it in March. I just don't know what that date is just yet. Let's see. I don't think we have to define it today. It should do be we? March the 17th. On That's the calendar, it says March 15th. March 15th? March yeah. 15th, yeah. March 15th. Okay. So March 15th, 6 p.m. City Hall. Yeah. Okay. 
to March. All right, so citizens' comments period. Anybody else want to come up? No. Okay. That adjourns our meeting. It is 6.30. Thank you for coming. Amen.